Shazia Ilmi of the BJP with us, Raghav Chadda, the spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party, Sanjay Jha of the Congress uh, with me in the studio, Rakesh Sinha, the RSS ideologue, and Yogendra uh, Yadav, the founder of the Swaraj Abhiyan. Thank you all very much for joining us. Shazia, it's a, it's a fine, uh, uh, it's a thread that Kirti Azad always seems to, to want to walk. Uh, on the one hand, it appears that the allegations against the DDCA pertain to a period when Arun Jaitley was very closely involved with the DDCA. On the other hand, he is very closely, he is saying that I am not naming anyone. On the other hand, he is saying I have got evidence which is going to hurt somebody personally. But on the other hand, he is refusing to, to name that person. So, what exactly, uh, what, what, where exactly does the BJP stand? Did you suspend this you know, man? Did you I suspend have... Arun Jaitley? Uh, did you suspend, I beg your pardon, Kirti Azad? because he was implying Arun Jaitley, yes or no? No, indeed, when I heard him, uh, I, was, uh, I, I could see a sense of suspense there, along with a lot of um, ambiguity, so to speak. And uh, the reason why he got uh, suspended is exactly what is being said, because he worked against the party interest at a time when party was uh, dealing with a huge crisis of getting important legislative business in the parliament to be done and also it played in the hands of uh, Arvind Kejriwal and the opposition which rose to the occasion, seized the moment and made it about asking for Arun Jaitley's resignation. If he was not implying Arun Jaitley's name, these parties clearly were and he went on and on. So if, if, even if something happened on Arun Jaitley ji's watch, so therefore, Shazia, because he was the, the president, believe that so the Kirti fact Azad of the matter was is, not referring to Arun Jaitley. Does the BJP believe that Kirti Azad no, was not, not referring to Arun no, Jaitley? No, there has been, there has been no ambiguity whatsoever. Please look at the, the chronological uh, events uh, chronologically. First, Rajinder Kumar gets raided. Ar, uh, Arvind Kejriwal makes it about his office being raided. Next day, this, they pick up the DDCA matter. Uh, our, our man um, Kirti Azad sees a huge opportunity because after eight years now, this matter is coming to the fore once again and he goes hammer and tongs uh, not realizing that the opposition and up will uh, will make hay no but i asked concerned. you something kishazi you don't answer that directly i'll come back to that in a while i want to go across to yogendra yadav mr uh, mr yadav you were once uh, of course with the Ahmadmi party now you are a founder of the swaraj abhiyan do you see uh, the Ahmadmi party uh, firing its guns off Kirti Azad's shoulder over here, even though Kirti Azad uh, doesn't want to name Arun Jaitley, he doesn't want to say that, that name at all. Vishnu, first of all, I wish to say that this is the day to salute Kirti Azad. Day to salute him because here is a person who has, has had the courage. He's not the usual disgruntled MP of a party. Here is a person who had the courage to stand up on a question of principles and stand up to the party leadership. He was threatened. He did not buckle. He stood up and has faced the consequences. I was very, very sad to hear what my colleague, uh, ex-colleague Shazia Ilmi has to say. Shazia Ilmi, the anti-corruption crusader who spoke from Ramlila Maidan, is today trying to defend this case of brazen corruption. I'm truly shocked, but I don't want to detain us on that particular point. Uh, I think the real question today is, uh, it raises two larger questions. One is that of corruption. And can we be consistent? Can we be just, can, can someone in this country say, Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi must face court cases. Mr. Arun Jaitley must face investigation. Mr. Rajinder Kumar must be investigated. Aam Aadmi Party funds allegations must be looked at. Why can't we just be consistent and say all these things? Why are we being partial in picking one or two of these things? Okay. The second larger question it raises is that of inner party democracy, which is nearly extinguished in every party. And Mr. Kirti Ajat's coming out raises that larger question. I don't even talk about Congress because I think the last time any congressman stood up for honesty in his own party must have been some 40, 50 years ago. Uh, in BJP, it's happened after a long time. I could not but help notice a straight parallel between what happened in Aam Aadmi Party to someone like Dharmbir Gandhi is happening to Pankaj Pushkar right now and what the BJP is doing to Mr. Kirti Ajad. Right. Same situation, same allegations. People come out speaking on questions of principles. They are accused of 
being in league with the other party. In okay. that case, they were being accused of being in league with Akali or this thing. Yes. They are suspended, not expelled. Okay, this is I take exactly your point what about happened double in the party. Uh, I take your point, this sir. This is the game that's being played out. Okay. But therefore, it's a very important day that we can speak about corruption and we can speak about inner party democracy. Okay. Uh, Professor Sinha, you know, the BJP came as much to power on, on so many planks, but one of them certainly was anti-corruption. On the face of it appears that on this particular issue, the party has taken a step back. Uh, is that a dangerous precedent to take, even though ultimately the charges against anyone who may or may not have been involved may, have, may be proven or disproved or whatever it is. But if they, these allegations do exist, why do you want to get rid of a person in your own party uh, in this manner, at least suspend him? Vishnu, I heard the interview with you, uh, Kriti Ajad, just now. Just see, Kriti Ajad has been raising the issue of DDCA for last many years and party has not taken any action. Why did party take action at this juncture? When you, your parliamentary behavior shows that the party whip, Sonia Gandhi is your whip, BJP is not your whip. He is considering Sonia Gandhi as the whip. He is acting on the indication of the Congress party, number one. Number two, his entire interview, just now I heard his interview, shows that it is the full of vengeance, elements of bargaining and elements of blackmailing. If you are a crusader against the corruption, you will reveal everything. You will go for, uh, uh, against the corruption, you will go to the court, you will go to these pe people and you will speak about the corruption. Instead of that, he says that I have many things which I would not reveal. I am revealing something, I will not reveal some, uh, some other, I will not take someone's name. So I think he is acting just like a pseudo crusader of the corruption. So party has not expelled him on the ground of corruption. It has expelled him or it has suspended, sorry, it has suspended him. Or anti uh, uh, Suspended him because Sonia Gandhi is his whip, number one. Okay. Number two, he is giving opportunity, opportunity to Aam Aadmi Party and uh, adversaries of the BJP to create a situation against the party. Okay, I want to put that uh, across to Sanjay Jha. Sanjay, uh, Rakesh, Professor Sinha here says that that Kirti Azad is acting on the commandments of, uh, of Sonia Gandhi. How do you respond? You know, I don't have to comment on any preposterous, absurd statement made by an RSS functionary. Uh, the simple point, uh, you know, Vishnu is, uh, I was about to call you Amitav actually. Uh, but, uh, but, you know, I have covered cricket for a considerable period. And corporate malfeasance in the DDCA is legendary. And the fact that it coincides when Mr. Jaitley was the president is, is perhaps uh, something that cannot be treated casually. It's a serious matter. It's a serious matter particularly because the allegations are grave. You cannot put a scale on corruption. It could be one crore, it could be 100. It's an act of corruption. Now, if there is administrative lapses, transparency issues, uh, no tenders being done, etc. And you have somebody like Mr. Jaitley, who's been a former law minister, Vishnu. Uh, he's somebody who's waxed eloquent on Section 25 to the Congress party sometime back. Interestingly, DDC is a Section 25 company as well. So you have a situation today where the Bharatiya Janata Party is pretending to be oblivious of some simple hard realities. And the hard reality is that it is not the Congress or any other political party that has actually been lambasting them. Kirti Azad is also a cricketer. So is Bishan Bedi, a former Indian captain. You have Ram Jait Malani, a very senior BJP lawyer and politician who is now trying to fight Arvind Kejriwal's case against, against the BJP. I mean, these are significant and telling commentary on what the internal problems the BJP faces today. It's in a fact, Shazia, of morality. Uh, Shatrugan and Sinha has also and the uh, last point, spoken Shatrugan in support. Sinha. Yes, Shatrugan so Sinha, point. exactly. So that's a point. Very, very that's strongly point today. Yes, Shazia, go ahead. There. There are, there are internal issues and they are coming out and people are, uh, they have an axe to grind. But does it have Shatrugan to do Sina with Shatrugan Sinha has the, an axe to grind on the issue of corruption. Is that what you're saying? No, no. With, with some leaders of the party. Shatrugan Sinha has an axe to grind with some leaders of the party and he's made it amply clear since the Bihar elections. And he's come out very often in the open saying things about BJP leaders. So I don't know what Shatrugan Sinha has to say on corruption though. But on this issue particularly, you can see that there is, there is inner rift and there is personal vendetta. And this is what is being played out. Is there actually any corruption or any direct link of corruption with Arun Jaitley? Nobody knows. Is there, is there probes be done? Okay, yes. let me just go across. Are there irregularities? Yes. Are there technical issues, serious ones, lapses? 
Yes, but does it link it up to to the to to the present finance minister who was then the president? Raghav Chadda. No. That's, that's an important question. That's an important issue that Shahzia raises. For all of the allegations which the Aam Aadmi Party has, as far as the DDCA is functioning is concerned, are you absolutely convinced that you have a direct link with Arun Jaitley? Would the BJP go this far in in immediately saying there is absolutely no link? The Prime Minister has defended Mr. Jaitley. Uh, the party has suspended uh, Kirti Azad. Do you have very strong evidence, or uh, or is it all going to end up being defamatory? Okay. In fact, the Prime Minister's uh, comments and statements uh, <laughs> do not go as a defence, but go more as a hint, a subtle hint to Mr. Jaitley to step down when he draws a parallel between uh, the DDCA scam and the Jain Hawala scam and what Mr. Adwani did when he was accused of that, that is stepping down and uh, only contesting elections after he was given a clean sheet by the Supreme Court. The Prime Minister seems to be indicating the same to Mr. Jaitley, as has been widely commented on by various uh, political analysts. That's one. Point number two, uh, the reality is that nobody in the B BJP, in the DDCA uh, or uh, you know in any other political party or any outfit has uh, denounced that there has been corruption in, B, in, in DDCA. They have all accepted that there has been corruption, there has been acts of omission, there has been financial irregularities, improprieties, etc. The fact really is that Mr. Jaitley was informed about all these all throughout by Mr. Kirti Azad, by Mr. Bishan Singh Bedi, by Mr. Madan Lal and various other people. Mr. Mr. J uh, Jaitley uh, chose to ignore it and there are documentary evidences to substantiate uh, which we have furnished in the press conference also that the corruption was happening right under the nose of the finance minister. So the Aam Admi Party is demanding only two things. One is that since various uh, evidences have come to fore, there has to be an independent, fair, impartial probe into the entire matter. Since Mr. Jaitley heads the finance ministry as well as the corporate affairs ministry that controls various agencies that will have to look into various financial aspects of these frauds and scams, there we cannot uh, hope for an impartial probe if he continues to be the finance minister no, or the corporate you know, affairs minister. In a sense, opinion, you've been one. firing Point your guns, Raghav, off Mr. Jaitley oh, himself Kirti has portrayed shoulder. Fair, Kirti Azad today is not, says demand. quite clearly that okay. he is not necessarily going to name names. Can he I, may not actually say anything against Arun Jaitley at first all. Of all. Isn't that going to weaken your defence? First of all, let me say this. First of all, let me say this, that we are not firing off Mr. Kirti Azad's shoulder. The fact really is that I hold in my hand a letter written by the Union Government of India, Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, dated 27th July 2015. This letter was written by the Government of India to Delhi Government saying that there are entertainment tax evasions, there is illegal construction of corporate boxes, etc. And the Government of Delhi uh, needs to take action in these matters. The Government of Delhi was apprised by the Government of India uh, to uh, you know handle the DDCA issue and since sport is a, is a state subject the government of Delhi is very much competent okay. to look into okay. all Professor this Professor Zinn has a point to make yes go ahead sir. Is but I, I think I'm Shazi I'll come to you next Professor Shazi I'll come to you next yes I think nobody is asking Aam Admi party not to go for investigation neither Arun Jaitley nor party has objected the question is that Kriti whatever Kriti Ajaz is doing is it is a mysterious way to fight corruption I, I call him, this is a typical mysterious way to fight corruption. He is not an Anna Hajare.